Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna show you how to extract the media tags from a music file. So let's select a file. And as you can see, we have the album cover, song name, artist, album, and genre. All right, guys, before we start, I want to warn you that this won't work if the music that you're trying to extract media tags from doesn't have any. And the reason that I say that is because a lot of the music that is downloaded from the internet illegally doesn't have media tags. But if you purchased your music through Amazon, iTunes, or any of the major selling music platforms, then it will have media tags. We're going to bring in a third party library called MP3 Media Tags. This library is going to help us extract the media tags from our music files. A media tag is basically the album cover, the name of the artist, so on and so forth. So we're going to open up our browser and we're going to search for CDN.js. You're going to click on this first link and in here you're going to type in MP3 media tags. So it's going to be this one. Just click on this here and it's going to copy the URL that we need. Right, now let's add it into our project. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna type in script, SRC, and then control V to paste it. All right, the first thing we're gonna add in here is a div. This is where the information from our album is gonna go. All right, we're gonna add an input field so we can allow the user to input their music files. We're gonna change the type to file, and we're gonna give this an ID of input. And we're going to accept mp3 files and wave files all right let's create a div where the image is going to go we're going to give this an id of cover now let's create a p element we're going to give this an id of title we're going to copy this three times and this is where the name of our artist is going to go the album and the genre and there's other information that we can also output but we're just going to keep things simple with with these here all right for the css file we're not going to do anything too fancy let's just remove the padding and the margin from all of the elements and for the body let's turn it into a flex box so it displays the album details nice and neat in the center of the screen so we're going to use justify content center, align items center. We're going to give this a height of 100 VH. All right. And for the div where the image is going to go, we're going to give it a width of 275 pixels and a height of 275 pixels as well. Let's also give it a border so you can see where the image is going to go we're also going to use background position center together with background size cover this is going to make sure that the image fits perfectly inside of our container all right that's it for the css for the javascript we're going to start by getting access to the library that we just brought in in the html file I'm actually going to expand this because we're not going to display anything on the screen yet. That's going to make it easier for you to see what we're doing here. All right, so we're going to bring in that library. We're going to start in this variable, JS Media Tags. To get access to it, we do window JS Media Tags. All right, now we're going to get access to this input field. So we're going to do document, query selector, input. And we're going to add an event listener to it so we can grab what the user inputs. So we're going to use an event here. And we're going to store that file inside of this variable here. So to grab the file, we're going to use event, target, files, and we have to include element zero in there. All right, so we have the file now. Now we can use our JS Media Tags library to extract the media tags. So we're going to do JS Media Tags, read, 
and we're going to include our file as a parameter brackets so two things can happen it could either be successful or not successful so if it is successful we're going to use on success function we're going to pass the tag as a parameter here so this is on success but if it's not successful then let's add a comma there and we're going to type in on error so on error we're also going to use function we're going to pass error and we're not going to do anything fancy we're just going to output the error all right but if it is successful then of course we have to do something here so let's go back in here and what we're going to do is simply output the title artist album and genre before we do that though i do want to output this tag just so you can see what it's doing or how we're going to go about doing this so let's choose file let's just choose a song and then we're going to inspect and look this is what it returns this object here and if you look in tags there's the album artist genre and picture but the picture it didn't return it in an actual picture it, it returned it a, a array which is also called an array buffer so i'm going to show you how we go about turning this into an image that the computer can read so le first let's take care of the easy stuff which is the title artist album and genre so we're going to do document query selector and let's start with the title text content equals tag tags and title all right we're going to copy this three times let's change this to artist this is the album and the genre of course we have to change this as well all right let's try it out all right and there's the information now we just need to display the image on the screen now for this it takes an extra step that's why i waited to the end to do it currently the image is stored in an array buffer we have to convert it to base 64 format which is something that the computer can read to do that we have to first we have to get access to the array we're going to store it in this variable data and that array is stored in tags picture data all right so we have the array now and another piece of information that we need is the format and that's located in tag tags picture format and one final thing is a variable where we're going to store the base 64 string we're going to initialize this to an empty string all right so to convert the array into a base 64 string we're going to use this for loop so if i is less than data length i plus plus and in here we're going to do base 64 string plus equals string from char code and data i all right so once this for loop is done we're going to have the base 64 string that we need in order to output the image all right so we have that now we just need to access the div where the image is going to go so we give that an id of cover and we're going to use style background image we're going to set that equal to url we are going to include this inside of backticks so in here we have to include data colon money symbol and the first thing we're going to include is the format and then we're going to include base 64 And in here, we're going to type in 
window btoa and the name of the variable base64 string all right that should do it so let's try this again and let's choose an album and there's the album cover along with the other information and that's going to be it for this tutorial i hope you guys learned a lot i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching